Hi, I'm Nidge Shoemaker, and today is day 98 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on today. So, yay, I made it to day 98. I have two days left. <laughs> yay, I think. I don't know. I'm kind of, um, I don't know, I kind of like doing today's. It's really easy for me. I'm not looking forward to something that's more of a challenge, but I probably need something that's more of a challenge um, for me to do. So, I guess we'll see what happens. Um, today has been kind of um up and down day. It's making me really miss my DDR Prime and thinking I really need to come up with the money to get that because it really helps to balance out my moods. And I didn't sleep much last night. I woke up and I was just in pain and couldn't get back to sleep. And, and I tried. I got up and I ate and I um, soaked my foot and did a bunch of stuff and tried to go back to sleep and couldn't do it. I even got myself to put on my ankle brace. Um, not an easy task for me, but I did it anyway, and it still didn't seem to help. Um, went to work tonight with the ankle brace on, and I was like, okay, for some reason it sort of makes my toes feel a little bit better. Not 100%, but they don't hurt quite as much. Um, but it was actually making my ankle hurt worse, and I'm like, it's supposed to be supporting the ankle and make it feel better. So my body just totally confuses me. Um, but I was just having a, a rough day today as far as like emotions going and just uh, very negative, <laughs> to be honest, just, just very negative, and even thinking, I'm like, I just hate this, and like, I hate myself, but I'm like, I don't really hate myself, and when that popped into my head, I'm like, I don't, I don't hate myself, I'm just, I'm just frustrated, because I can't sleep, and I hate it when I'm so tired, and I can't sleep, and I'm just laying in bed, and I'm just tossing and turning, or I'm just daydreaming, I'm like, just, I'm like, just fall asleep already, just fall asleep already, and I just won't sleep, and then I get up, but then I just don't have energy to do anything, because I'm just tired, and and I'm also just annoyed because I can't seem to get myself to do what I want to do, which would be like sleeping or whatever else it is. So that I'm just like, that I just do nothing. So I was having one of those, I am doing nothing today and I don't care days and um, just really, really negative. Um, and then I had a friend message me and be like, hey, can we chat? And I'm like, sure. And it's amazing how um, reaching out well, I didn't really reach out, but someone else reaching out to me just kind of um, turned my whole day around. And I was having a thought later because I was like, this is God interfering with my life is what I was thinking. And sometimes I'm, I'm grateful when he does that and sends people into my life. And other times I'm just like, really? I really don't want to have to deal with reality right now. I really don't want to make a change. Um, and I have had days where I'm just like, I'm not doing it. And I just won't answer my phone or I won't answer my door. Um, but I have been, I've been in a better mood. I've been much more willing to answer my phone. Um, I haven't had people knocking on my door, so that's not been an issue. I've even answered calls from people calling me. I don't even know who they are. And they're all like stupid machine things. So it's <laughs> kind of pointless to answer them. But, um, I've been, I've been much better at being willing to answer my phone, at being willing to face my reality. Um, and sharing with my friend what was going on with me and just having someone else listen just made it feel that much better. And then um, she sent me a message suggesting I do something. Uh, and it was something simple. It didn't require a whole lot of effort, but I was like, oh. And then there was just that part of me like, okay, if I'm going to do that, then I should get up. And I'm like, all right, I'll go get up and I'll get dressed. And then I read my scriptures and meditationals. And, and then I actually got on my laptop and I applied for a job, looked at jobs, applied for one. Um, there's more that I'm interested in, but I was like, I gotta go to work. And then, of course, I went to work, um, and I was already super exhausted and didn't want to go anyway, but I did. Um, it was a little more productive than yesterday. I mean, I didn't make quite as much money as yesterday, but I didn't work as many hours as yesterday either. I stopped after about seven hours of working, um, and I did nine yesterday, and I made, well, actually, I made the same amount of money. I did. No, I made more tonight in seven hours than I did last night. That's right, I did. I made more tonight. I, I forgot about that. Okay. I was counting the money that I made on Monday and last night combined was more than what I made tonight. But like by 10 or ten or $11, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a lot. Um, so I, I made more money tonight in seven hours than last night, which was good. Um, so I'm, I'm getting enough to pay the bills, to do what needs to be done. Not really getting any extra, still stressing a little more than I would like to, still in lots of pain and wishing I didn't have to be out there driving. 
but um, I would have worked more, um, except that I was tired and falling asleep, and I'm like, I just want to go to sleep, and I am home, and I'm like, literally, I haven't even, like, done anything to unwind or relax or whatever, I just came home, and I'm like, I'm doing my video so that I can just get ready and go to bed, because I'm just so tired, and if my body will let me sleep, I just want to sleep. So, um, I also want to take the ankle brace off because it's killing me. <laughs> I don't know what to do with my body. But um, i just really grateful um, to a loving Heavenly Father that sends people into my life. People that respond to that little voice that says, hey, check up on Midge. She's having a hard day. Um, <laughs> just whatever it is. Uh, just a reminder to get out of my head and to get back to the positive things, to get out of the negative. And... Um, I was having little issues with stuff tonight too. And I'm just like, I, I'm like that was my response to everything. I just hate this. I hate this today. And I'm like, that's, that's not a very nice response to things. And I don't necessarily hate those things. Um, there's a reading, a meditational in my al on stuff where it talks about some, guy, some person that did a, um, was venting to their sponsor, basically. Um, I don't remember what the reading is, so I can't quote it. I'm sorry. But, or read it. <laughs> But basically, they just do this whole thing where they like, they make a list of, so their sponsor told them to make a list of all of their grievances or all the things that were bothering them. So they made their list, and they tucked it away in a drawer somewhere. And then they were having a really great day, and their sponsor told them to write down all the stuff that, you know, they were being grateful for. So they made their little gratitude list. Oh, I'm grateful for all these things. And then they went to put it in the same drawer and noticed the, the previous list of all the things that irritated them. And it was the same same exact things that irritated him, that he was grateful for. Um, but it was just a matter of perspective. It was just a matter of attitude as to whether or not they were grateful for or um, annoyed by. <laughs> so um, I think today my attitude is just not, it's not the best. And it isn't the best because I'm tired and I'm sore and I know that I get ornery and everything bothers me when I don't get enough sleep or when I don't feel good or when I'm in pain. I think that's true of most people. <laughs> it's it's really hard to to be happy to not have things bother you. And stuff that's that's normally okay, stuff that you can normally do without pain or without frustration. I'm like I can do this. It's a piece of cake. And normally I could do this and it would be a piece of cake. Like going to work, I could do this. It's no big deal. But it is a big deal because I have to be on my foot. I have to use my foot. I have to, and it's and it's injured and it hurts. And so it just keeps reminding me my body is doing this thing because I ignore it. So it screams at me like constantly and I have a high tolerance for pain. So it has to keep reminding me that I am in pain. And it I think it continues to increase the intensity of the little things shooting off in my head going, this is hurts, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts, this hurts. Until I say, okay, fine, I'll stop. So, because <laughs> I'm also very stubborn and I just kind of have a tendency to ignore and just keep doing what needs to be done. So I'm not really sure where the balance is with all of this and I hope that I'm not making things worse. I'm going to have my compression sock, I have my shoe on, I have my, my ankle brace on and my toes are still, you know, they're killing me. I tried wrapping them yesterday and that just made it worse. So I'm like, not going to do that. Actually, I tried wrapping them earlier today and that just made it worse which doesn't make sense to me. I think wrapping my toes was okay, but I tried wrapping my foot too, and that was that was bothering me. So, I don't know. I just I don't even know what to do. Um, anyway, and it may just be like what the doctor said, and it's going to take um, several weeks or months for it to heal, and I just have to be patient, and I am not patient. So, <laughs> this may just be one of those tests, one of those opportunities um, for me to learn how to take better care of my body, how to listen to my body, um, and hopefully to find some kind of a balance. Because I know at some point you can push things and you can do things, but at some point if you keep, if you do too much, you actually can um, prolong the injury. You can re-injure things, or you can uh, make the injury worse if you're injured. Um, also, I mean, it's the same with sleep. You go too long without sleep, and things get worse and crazy and whatever. So there has to be some kind of a, a give and take, I guess. Um, so it's just a matter of me learning how to listen to my needs, which I wasn't eating today either. I wasn't eating or drinking water, which is another reason why I was just really ornery because I know I was hungry and then I was too tired to go in my kitchen and make food. I thought, ooh, I have cans of beef stew. I could go make something. That would be yummy. I was like, yeah, then I got to go stand in the kitchen and do dishes and 
whatever else that I didn't actually need to do dishes. I had, them. I had some plain ones to do that. I was like, eh, it's too much work. So I just, I wasn't eating today either, which just adds to my, because I don't sleep well when I'm hungry and then I was hungry and I was in pain and I was just, it was just bad combinations. And there's another saying from my 12 step group, it's called halt, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. So if you're hungry, eat something. If you're angry, then figure out some healthy way to express that anger, call a sponsor, call a friend, punch a pillow, <laughs> do some exercise, do some cleaning, whatever it is, do some writing, some journaling, um, find some way to, to help express it in a healthy way and to calm down and work through all of that before you, you know, face or address the person or thing that's upsetting you um, or share whatever it is with someone else. And then of course, L, lonely, if you're lonely, just call a friend, <laughs> call someone, or go out and do something, something so that you don't feel lonely and tired, take a nap or go to bed. You know, those are hungry, angry, lonely, tired, halt, stop, because those are things that just, you know, make life unmanageable and crazy. And those are things, I mean, very basic, simple things in taking care of um, yourself. And I struggle with all of those very basic things <laughs> because I don't like expressing anger. I don't like being angry. Um, so I stuff it. I avoid it. I pretend it doesn't exist or that I'm not really angry, even though I'm fuming inside and I will just start ranting and raving in my head and not saying it out loud to the people that are irritating me. Um, although there were some people irritating me at work today and I just asked them to please stop. <laughs> I'm like, okay, I don't care what your opinion is on the subject. Just please stop talking about it around me. And they did, which was really nice. Um, but I, I have a tendency to not say that and to just keep ranting and raving in my head and then it keeps spinning in my head and I just get built up anger and frustration and then I just, you know, eventually I just explode, which is not a good idea. <laughs> and hungry, I, I have gone so many times without food in my life that my body after a while and my tummy growls at me for a while and after a while it just gives up and then it tells me that I'm tired and I'm like, oh, I am so tired and then I get something to eat and I'm like, oh, I'm awake again. I wasn't really tired, I was hungry. But <laughs> I don't respond to being hungry. I don't always respond to being tired either. I will make myself stay awake when I'm really tired too and um, get to the point where I'm just wired and can't sleep. Uh, so I, I've done that way too many times in my life and when I'm lonely, I just f crawl into my bed and I, or watch movies and, um, get depressed. So I, <laughs> I am needing to learn how to do the opposite of those hungry, eat something, angry, vent my anger <laughs> somehow, find a healthy way to release it instead of holding on to it. Lonely, just reach out to somebody and say, Hey, what's going on? Because I appreciate it when someone else reaches out and says, hey, what's going on? And that I I didn't realize I needed that today. And I did. And I'm I'm really grateful. Um, honestly, there was a part of me that was kind of annoyed because I was like, God, really, why are you interrupting my life? But, <laughs> but at the same time, it's like he knew that I needed to go to work. He knew I needed to get up and do things to feel better about myself, that I was headed down a, a, a negative thought process. Um, a downward spiral instead of up and that's not a direction that I needed to be going so he sent someone to say hey what's up so I can do the same for other people and say hey what's up I need to do better at that <laughs> and like I said if I'm tired I really need to figure out how to let myself sleep because seriously I just I get so frustrated when I'm so tired and I can't sleep it's just I just don't know what to do with myself so um, I'm really hoping that I am completely worn out and I will sleep for the next several hours because that's all I want to do right now is just curl up in my bed and go to sleep. I'm like, I don't even care. Normally I'll play games on my phone or watch Netflix or something to unwind. And I probably, I should write in my journal. And I know I will be grumpy tomorrow if I don't, but I think I'm so grumpy right now that I just need to go to sleep. So I may not write in my journal tonight unless I can't sleep and then I will probably get up and write in my journal. I don't know. See what happens. Uh, I always tell myself I'm going to do things and I don't always follow through. So I need to learn how to be better at following through. But um, I am grateful that in spite of not getting sleep and in spite of starting out feeling very negative and just hating everything today, that um, a simple message, phone call from a friend, just kind of turned all of that around today and just very grateful for that. 
And even tonight working when I was getting irritated and stuff like that, I had to remind myself every time I said, I hate this. I'm like, I don't hate this. I am just tired. I am just in pain. It is just time for me to go home. I am done with work. It doesn't matter if I didn't meet my goal or make the money that I wanted to make because I need to take care of me and I keep forgetting that and I get my priorities mixed up and um, I'm like, but part of taking care of me is being able to pay my bills too. So I, I'm i just trying to figure things out. Um, I don't think anybody actually has everything all figured out. I think we're all always trying to figure something out, trying to to do new things, different things. There's always something new in life that we get to learn or, or relearn on a deeper level, deeper meanings and things like that um, to just, you know, get those roots, our understandings a little bit deeper every time we go through something similar um, or we have to keep going through similar things because we keep not learning from it, which is probably my problem. I, I probably go through lots of similar situations because I just keep not learning from it. I keep, you know, the definition of insanity doing the same thing over and over again expecting different results and that's me i think if i just keep doing it i'll get it right the next time but i don't have any new tools i'm not doing it any differently so or i have new tools but then i don't apply them i just go to my old standard uh which is the tough thing for me when i when i'm tired when i'm in pain my old standard my old default settings that grumpy negative it all just comes out and it's a lot harder to just be like push it aside and say, nope, we're not doing this today. So um, I'm just grateful that Heavenly Father knew what I needed and um, provided that for me. And he has continued to do that. And I have seen that so many times in the last 98 days. Um, I've seen it many times throughout my life, but I've been so much more aware of it on a day-to-day -day basis as how much God is aware of me and taking care of me and all the things that just doesn't seem like all the bills that shouldn't be able to get paid have gotten paid. All the things that I have needed, I have had. Um, maybe not all the things that I wanted. Definitely not all the things that I've wanted. And I certainly didn't get all the things I wanted today. But um, I've gotten what I needed. And I think right now I need sleep. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get some of that too. I'm hoping anyway. But... Um, I am grateful that my needs are getting met. I am grateful that I can um, develop that deeper trust with a loving Heavenly Father and knowing that He's there and that He cares and that He's aware and just the little things and even things that I don't realize that I need. And He's like, here you go. <laughs> Surprise, here you go. And I was like, I wasn't expecting that. Sometimes I'm like, I don't want that. But I'm... I am grateful in the end because it is the little extra boost that I needed. Um, so I'm grateful for the little extra boost that I needed to get through today. And I'm grateful that I was able to go to work and stay awake and work for as long as I did in spite of how I'm feeling. So um, that makes me very happy too. So I mean, maybe didn't start my day off the best. Um, definitely ending it kind of tired, maybe not writing in my journal, which is kind of a bummer, but um, definitely ending on a much better note than I started on. So I am grateful for that. Um, and if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, share with someone else if you think they'll like it too. Uh, but that's all I have for you today. So I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and maybe do some writing.